think about that? Well, I've got a better chance of being Prime Minister than Rishi Sunak does. He'll be on the plane to California on the 5th of July. You won't be seeing him again. He'll go and make his next one billion. Uh, but uh, Nigel Farage is a clear and present danger to the viewers of your show. Uh, the fact is, he's making race the issue in this election. He pretends it's about illegal immigration, and we're all against illegal immigration. Every country has to defend itself and its borders. But how does anybody know whether you or my friends or my wife is an illegal immigrant, a legal immigrant, or somebody who's lived in this country for generations? You could be a third generation uh, person of uh, ethnic uh, minority background, but Farage's rhetoric still affects you because everybody looks then, if his arguments are accepted, that people of color as a problem, if not the problem. So this is a two horse race, for example, in Rochdale. Now my independent opponents uh, who gained a lot of votes, they came second actually, in the by-election just a few weeks ago, uh, the, their voting base has moved over completely to Nigel Farage. So he's a danger, even in Rochdale. He's a bigger danger elsewhere, but he's a danger even in Rochdale. Question is, Rishi Sunak ain't going to be the prime minister. Question is, who's going to be the leader of the opposition? Will it be Nigel Farage or will it be me? For people watching this broadcast, you better hope that it's me. Right, well, okay. well uh, we've got 154 candidates across the country, uh, but we are heavily concentrating on Greater Manchester. Practically every constituency has a Workers' Party candidate. Ditto in the West Midlands, particularly in the city of Birmingham, uh, where we're either standing or we're supporting independent candidates who are standing allies of ours. And right across London, north, south, east and west, uh, with a particular emphasis on places like South Hall, where our Sikh candidate is poised to make a, a remarkable victory, believe me, uh, where we're standing in Ealing, a Palestinian from Gaza. Uh, in fact, we're standing about five, five or six Palestinians in this election. And East London, of course, where I was once the Member of Parliament and where we uh, are standing and also backing independence. So 154, we'll get hundreds of thousands of votes. Question is how many seats we win. And we're very confident that we're going to make a big breakthrough. I've seen so many volunteers today outside. Mm. Are they, and they said, we're just coming to see the emails. We got an email and we are here to help George mm. Galloway. How, how do you feel about this? I'm very moved, very touched. Rochdale uh, picked me up and put my feet back on higher ground. They transformed the political landscape, the people here. Uh, suddenly, it became clear to everyone that Labour can be defeated and that uh, Gaza can be made an issue and we can win uh, and that we can fight back against all the people who care nothing about Muslim blood. Uh, whether it's in Kashmir or whether it's in Palestine uh, or anywhere for that matter, the Rohingya people, for example. Muslim blood is cheap for the mainstream politicians, but it isn't cheap for those who believe in God. And that's a lot of people. We are millions, you know. If we can only get together and vote together, we could really change things in Britain for the better. Once I was talking to a Labour uh, candidate, mm. and not from here, somewhere mm. else, and he said, what George can do, he, he's, on, he's the only one person can mm. go in the mm. parliament. Mm. He's, he can only speak. Mm. But my question was to him, uh, you were in hundreds. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> exactly. They asked me, what can one man do? I say, it depends who the man is. Uh, Imran Khan was once one man. And uh, look what he did and will do again, uh, God willing. Uh, the issue is not your numbers. The issue is, does your voice get heard? Now, they say I only speak. That's true, but millions listen to me. They are in their hundreds, and they speak, but nobody listens to them. 
lastly, Nigel Farage is more, getting more uh, viewership mm. than the Rishi Sunak. Yeah. What, what do you?